artificial intelligence discovered anti-aging technology. The wait is over. Now you can stay young, evergreen and fit, just like you were in your 20s for your whole life. Because finally, artificial intelligence discovered anti-aging technology for us. This technology will help you sustain your youth and fitness from the inside, making age literally just a number. But how would that be possible? Curious to know about this cutting-edge technology? Well, today we are going to discuss how artificial intelligence discovered anti-aging technology and how effective this is. Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel, a versatile YouTube channel where we bring the latest updates on science, artificial intelligence and many more important things. Before we proceed to our topic, subscribe to our channel and keep following us by clicking the bell icon. So without further delay, let's get straight into the subject. Aging is a significant physical, social, and economic cost caused by a decrease in an organism's physiological functions. Many illnesses such as cancer, cardiovascular disease, and neurological disease are associated with growing older. Anti-aging technology has been discovered by AI. Although chronological aging is irreversible, artificial intelligence might soon help us slow biological aging which is influenced by lifestyle choices and other variables and is a better predictor of health and death. Looking at someone, hearing them talk, or even smelling them may give us a good idea of their age. All of these are signs of biological aging. If a person seems older than their chronological age, even a layman's eye may be able to identify their health state. AI's capacity to absorb and analyze large amounts of data makes it a powerful ally in the effort to not only identify but also prevent biological manifestations of aging signs. But it's also about assisting individuals living longer, healthier lives. AI algorithms examined daily photos of mice to extract potential aging markers and construct lifespan management strategies in a study with mice. Using patents in medical data, photographs, and other sources to recognize trends and predict casualties. The same visual biomarker learning technique may be then used for humans and other species. AI can discover biomarkers by recognizing repeating patterns and human aging. In addition to image analysis techniques, by combing through enormous volumes of data from multiple blood tests, retinal scans, muscle analyses, and other sources, or by comparing human data to that of other species, AI may uncover aging patterns in different populations. By studying the effects of treatments, preventive remedies, different lifestyles and more, AI can provide health solutions in addition to recognizing potential problems. Understanding how proteins and cells respond positively or negatively to treatments allows AI to assist in the efficient creation of medicine on a deeper level. Deep learning could be able to help us deal with the discomforts of biological aging shortly. A group of Surrey chemists created a machine learning model database to forecast if a drug might prolong the life of Canorhabditis elegans, a transparent worm with a human-like metabolism. According to an article published in the scientific journal Nature Communications, researchers were able to monitor the impact of the chemical compounds due to the worm's short lifetime. The AI discovered three compounds that have an 80% chance of lengthening elegance lifespan. Flavonoids, which are antioxidant pigments found in plants that improve cardiovascular health, fatty acids like omega-3 and organic oxygens, which contain carbon to oxygen links, and alcohol. Sophia Capsiani, a final year undergraduate student at the University of Surrey and one of the study's co-authors, said that in modern medicine, aging is increasingly being recognized as a series of diseases and that we may be able to use digital technologies like AI to help slow down or prevent aging and age-related diseases. This research demonstrates AI's revolutionary potential to assist in the discovery of anti-aging drugs. Dr. Brendan Allen, the study's lead author and a senior professor in computational chemistry at the University of Surrey, commented, This research underlines the power and promise of AI, which is a specialism of the University of Surrey, to make substantial advancements in human health. Cancer, cardiovascular illness, and neurological ailments are all connected to growing older. Pharmaceutical treatments that slow down the aging process and postpone the onset of age-related disorders are becoming a hot research area. Five prediction models utilizing molecular fingerprints and molecular descriptors as features were created using the random forest approach. The top performing classifier developed using molecular descriptors earned an area under the curve score of 0.815 for categorizing the compounds in the test set. The genie significance measure of the random forest technique was used to rank the model features. Topological and partial charge traits, as well as descriptors linked to atom and bond nouns, were among the top 30 features. The model is used to predict the class of compounds in an external database of 1,738 small molecules. 
Chemical compounds having a prediction probability of 0.80 for extending canorhabditis worms' lifespan were separated into flavonoids, fatty acids, and conjugates, and organic oxygen molecules in the screening database. Food restrictions, genetic modifications, and pharmacological therapies that target the cellular and molecular processes of aging have the potential to prevent and postpone age-related disorders. Several aging studies have found treatments that increase the lifespan of a variety of animals, including nematodes, fruit flies, and rats. Researchers Harrison and his colleagues discovered that giving mice rapamycin, an inhibitor of the mTOR pathway, enhanced the mice's median and maximum lifespan. Another researcher, Salman and colleagues, revealed a few years later that genetic deletion of S6 protein kinase-1, a component of the mTOR signaling pathway, increased mouse's longevity and protected them against age-related illnesses. Yet another expert and his colleagues constructed a pharmacological network to uncover pharmacological classes related to C. elegans aging. Resistance to oxidative stress and life extension have been linked to a few pharmaceutical groups. The bulk of them has anything to do with intracellular signaling. Russian scientist Putin and his team have developed a deep learning neural network capable of predicting human chronological age from a simple blood test. The top five most essential blood indicators for determining chronological age in humans were discovered to be albumin, glucose, alkaline phosphatase, urea, and erythrocytes. Mamoshina and his colleagues also used blood samples from Canadian, South Korean, and Eastern European populations to create a deep learning-based hematological aging clock with millions of patients. The findings demonstrated that population-specific aging clocks were more accurate in forecasting chronological age and identifying biological age than generic aging clocks. Barardo and his colleagues used data from the Drug Age database to build a random force model to predict if a drug will extend the lifespan of C. elegans molecular descriptors and gene ontology terms. With an AOC score of 0.80, the top performing model was utilized to predict the class of chemicals in the DGIDB database. This research builds on Barardo and AI's work by looking at how the Drug Age database may be used to predict compounds with anti-aging properties. Based on data from the Drug Age database, the random forest approach was used to evaluate if a medication can lengthen the lifespan of C. elegans. Barardo's AI prediction models were created utilizing a variety of descriptor categories, molecular fingerprints and or molecular descriptors determined from this structure of the molecules. This is the first time molecular fingerprints have been utilized to create machine learning models based on entries in the Drug Age database, to our knowledge. The best model was used to predict the chemical class in an external database, which comprised 1,738 small molecules extracted. Because it is resistant to overfitting on high-dimensional datasets with small sample numbers, Random Forest is a supervised machine learning approach that consists of an ensemble of decision trees, each of which is trained individually using a random subset of data. In chemo and bioinformatics, the random force model is frequently employed. Chemical descriptors employed in quantitative structure activity connection models can have a significant influence on the quality and accuracy of their predictions. Descriptors are computer interpretable, digital or numerical representations of a molecule's chemical information, which are suitable for model construction. In this study, the molecular operating environment software was employed to create 2D and 3D molecular descriptors. 2D descriptors are data about a molecule's structural, topological, and physiochemical properties and generated from its 2D structure. Electronic parameters, quantum chemical descriptors, and surface-to-volume descriptors are examples of 3D descriptors that are obtained from a chemical compound's 3D structure. To represent the structure of a molecule, molecular fingerprints employ binary vectors, with one indicating the existence of a feature or structural group and zero indicating its absence. Extended conductivity fingerprints of 1024 and 2048 bits, as well as RD Kit's topological fingerprints of 2048 bits, were generated using the RD Kit Python environment. Finally, chemical descriptors were combined with ECFP to choose a selection of significant factors for predicting the anti aging potential of the compounds in the dataset. Only the training set, which comprised 80% of the compounds in the dataset, was employed for this. The researchers used variations and mutual information filter-based techniques. As a consequence of feature selection, the number of variables used by each model was decreased, minimizing the cost of computational computations for identifying the chemicals in the test set. The feature subset with the highest AUC score in tenfold cross-validation was selected. When using two feature subsets with the same AUC score, we chose the subgroup with the smallest standard deviation. With that, we've concluded the video. So tell us in the comments, aren't you excited about this anti-aging technology that will help you to stay young for a longer time? And if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. 
Also, subscribe to the channel and click the bell icon to be notified whenever we upload a new video to our channel. See you soon. Until then, peace.